Hi, I'm Merrick Commander. Welcome back to Let's Play The Mummy and the P Mummy Returns on the PS2. I decided to get that final gold coin off screen because fuck getting that gold coin. And it's randomized anyway, so I don't really need to see me look for it. I never saw you. You were never here. Now go on. Hurry on your way. We're gonna walk away slowly. Very, very slowly, and some dudes are gonna run up, run up with swords. But that's okay, because we have the one thing that can beat a swordsman. Guy has goddamn sniper pistol. I don't know how to fix the weird shadows, but eh. it's a minor game. It's a minor glitch. Probably related to the fact that I'm recording this. Mila and Alex. There's our derpy Brendan Fraser face. I've seen Alex. He's being held at the train station. We've got to go after him before it's too late. Evie, stay here. You will be safe with the Magi. No harm will come to you on their watch. Awesome. O Colonel, night has fallen. The streets of Cairo would not be safe for her tonight. We must exercise extreme caution. The creature is in our midst. Ah, crap. For the Black Lagoon? Yeah, I know, they mean the mummy. And we lost all of our stuff we found. Lovely. And save your bullets as long as you can. Anything in behind this desk? Nope, not this time. Dynamite here. Don't need it, but we'll take it. Crap, I got a zombie! The P-51 
keep. Oh, shit! I actually skipped that cutscene. Fine. We'll see it again. My experience swords are better against mummies anyway. There's a Zom Zom. The people look at their faces. Imhotep has made zombies of them. You can do that now. Grab the health pack. Oh, Ardith can handle anything he sees. He's Ardith today. He's the best. He's also supreme badass extraordinaire. Eating people's zombies. Cool. Control over the platforming in this. Or we could just take the stairs. Cows aren't bad in this level. Why were they so awful in the while recording in the in the main Cairo? Weird. Five shots. Okay. And there's another health pack. Tell where we came from. At least it seems these zombies aren't respawning yet. Kitty. Violent junk.
suck at Assassin's Creed. relatively zombie free. I was saying. Because nowhere can truly be free of zombies. Come on, man. This is a much nicer place we're not getting continuously shot at. I prefer the zombies, frankly, to guys with guns repeatedly jumping out from behind corners, shooting us, and shooting us, then running away. The zombies are straightforward. Tough ass zombies. None of those hit anything, did they? <laughs> they don't really feel like wasting the bullets. Ammo. Good. Not much of it. We have 21 shots. That's a lot better. Much better than usual. I have a feeling there are going to be quite a few zombies down by the docks. Convenience signs. This is a lot, much better level than the last one. <laughs>
Oh wait, you got guys with guns too? Yep, starting this area over. can deal with those other zombies, I'm sure. Because there's an ammo and seems unkillable, so let him take the take the heat if you need to. He'll be fine. All of you, you're you're cunts, and I hate you. We're gonna help.
There's a motel. God damn it. This is durable. Motep, give me my son back, bitch. Dad! The Golden Pyramid! We're going to the Golden Pyramid at Armshire! Dad, I'm scared! You got to hurry! I don't have much time! Why are you Australian? <laughs> Why did Imhotep let you finish that sentence? Don't worry, Alex. I'll kill him all over again before I let anything happen to you. Evie sits weeping. With Alex in plain sight, Imhotep and Mila still manage to get away. But Rick has become even more determined to get his son back. Knowing that the mummy is headed for the Golden Pyramid, Rick convinces his longtime friend, Izzy, to pilot the group to the hidden oasis in his well, trusty dirigible. Yet, as our heroes near the horizon of their destination, Imhotep discovers them and sends a cursed wall of water crashing towards them to bring them Wouldn't down. Wouldn't it fun to see that? Eventually caught by the rising flood, the dirigible plummets down into the miraculous jungle. A jungle that exists in the desert, part of the hidden sacred oasis surrounding the mythical Golden Pyramid. Ooh. Is everyone all right? We don't have time to stop and lick oh, our Jonathan's wounds. Here. Alex is out there, and we've got to find him before it's too late. She's right. We have got to keep moving. This is Arm Shear. The army of Anubis will spring from this oasis. I must go warn the Magi. Stay with me, my friend. Just until we find Alex. I can't do it without you. All right. We move forward. But split up. Look. We know Imhotep is headed for the Golden Pyramid with the boy. He's right. We find the way to the Golden Pyramid. We find Alex. But be careful. The jungle hides many dangers. What the- Whoa! Be careful! I'm serious! This is not your same old average booby-trapped ancient temple. Those were sharp logs. Evie. Maybe you and Jonathan should stay behind until I find a safer way. Yes, thanks. What an excellent plan, Rick. Have a nice look around the jungle, and when you've found the easiest route between here and there... Jonathan, don't be such a wimp. We have no time for this, O'Connell. If we are to find your son, we must hurry. Don't mind us. We can find our own way through the jungle. Come along, Jonathan. We'll meet up with them at the Golden Pyramid. Ugh. I liked his plan better. 
Yeah, my plan was better. Okay, so. If I remember the movie at all. This jungle. Pygmies. And we're off to a wonderful start, aren't we? There we go. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, thank God, okay. No, 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 no please. Oh, okay. We got spikes on that side. That took us there. What's over in this direction? Maybe. Aha! Yes. Through the spikes. I'll take your sword, please. Yes. That was a dickish thing for the game to do. He's like, hey, hey, you want this, uh... You want this health back? You want this health back? Fuck you, no health back for you. At least you're out of Cairo, huh? <laughs>
big old jungle temple. Thank you for that. Scorpions. Fitting, I mean, just this is the origin of the, the uh, first appearance of the Scorpion King. That's a Millennium. That's a fucking crocodile! Fuck me! Yeah, not wasting my health on that thing. I see you down there. Eat these little fuckers. God, scorpions are so annoying. I mean, hell, at least they don't poison you in this one. I think that showed that, uh, target out who's boss. Oh my god, it's in the fucking structable! Fuck me! I'm guessing that was a boss. Holy shit! A badass crocodile. God, these things do ins like unfair amounts of damage. Why are you even in the jungle temple again? Aside from its cliche. Oh my god, there are two of them! 
nope, 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 so much no! Fuck that! No, I'm not dealing with two of those goddamn bulletproof indestructible crocodile motherfuckers! Now that m a lot more shotgun shells. They can't go that way. Um, fuck, I'm gonna have to fight it, aren't I? Hope, let's hope six shots can kill a crocodile. God damn it. Oh, I really don't want to deal with a fucking crocodile. Did it. Killed a crocodile. Killed two crocodiles. Okay, I need some I need some magic chosky for that, I guess. Well, I can't quite figure out what I'm supposed to do right now, and we're kind of at time, so I'm American Metal. I'll see you all next time for more Let's Play The Mummy Returns. Ciao! Hi! Thanks for watching. This has been played and recorded by me, Merrick D'Amato. The art was by Rafael Agrona. You can find a link to their commission page in the description below. And if you, li if you like this video and want to see more like it, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time. Ciao!